So there is lateral traction on the fetal head, typically when shoulder dystocia impedes the delivery and uh, downward traction causes less stretch. So when you are pulling in line with the spine, there is less stretch than when you are turning the head and pulling. But it depends on the situation, depends on how the head is descending, how the baby is rotating. So the obstetrician needs to decide and manage, but as far as possible, avoid a significant lateral stretch if possible. Uh, uterine anomalies, fibroids, malposition and the nature of contractions can contribute. Uh, it's not necessarily due to excess force by the obstetrician. It can be due to the way the baby is coming out or ex other factors as I mentioned in the uterus. And it's not always preceded by difficult delivery or shoulder dystocia. It can follow a normal delivery or cesarean section and sometimes antenatal insults are possible as well if there are prominences pressing on the neck of the baby for example or stretching due to the position uh, 